Hello, hello. You can scoot in a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to our 9 p.m. devotion. I'm all by myself here. Nobody's going to be with me. He's very lonely. Very lonely. <laughs> well, we'll just hang out, wait for a pee pee. English is hard. I gotta learn how to speak. I need an interpretation. There. We will hang out, wait for a few people to show up. You have one person. Four. And we have four. And there's Susan Hall. Hello. Remember Susan? She works at the front Hi. office. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's pretty much Logan the Corkin. zookeeper Hi, to the Circus of Grace. <laughs> yeah, Mommy says she's the zookeeper for us. Hello, Logan. Hello, Monty. How are you? Just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that with you? This is our dad, Nick. <laughs> Good evening, Co host. Barbara. Yes. I feel like I'm not even the co host. I'm like, like you guys are the yeah, main host, and here. I'm just the support. And I just go. I like it that it doesn't say Nick at night. No, it doesn't say Nick at night. Somebody will say Nick at night, don't worry. Good evening, Brenda. How are you? Ashley, Ashley Pierce. Pierce. Hi. <laughs> oh, we might know say her. that at once. But Charlie's, good to see you. Glad that you guys are here. Well, they're watching, so you can wave at them. That's okay. Now, if they start waving back, now that'll be crazy. <laughs> Jim Connors, glad that you're here. Oh my goodness. We I need think, security. I knew you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. Emmy and I. Oh, Hi, okay. Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Hello, Star. Thank you. They are pretty precious. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we practiced that pose. Did you see that? It just doesn't have the same effect when I do it. I don't know why. <laughs> you should try it. With your coffee. I did. Do it. You have to go back and watch the video. I don't think I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see that mess. Do this. it. He did it. No. Uh, oh, I got a prayer request. Oh, now we're going to Jennifer. Jennifer. Well, I see that Brenda praying for Jennifer with diagnosed with COVID. She's in the ICU. And let's see, Brenda. Hello, hello. Oh, okay, so they have really exciting news for you guys. Hopefully. Oh, we do. Okay, go ahead and tell your news. You okay, Ryan, you can go. No, first. you go for it. Okay, so. Hi, Ron. Mommy Lafon. and Daddy said yes, so I'm going to start saving up for a crusted gecko. A crusty gecko. Crested. Oh, crested. I thought yes. you said a crusty. No. Gecko. I think it's probably going to be a crusty no. gecko. Hello, They're Troy. So I see you waving there. What's your name? I Ryan? see you waving, Ron and Lafon. And then, oh, here's Jim. It's Trio for Nick at Night. No, it's not. <laughs> I, they are my security. They are my security. Hello, Mary Kay. Hi, Patty. Pam and Chris Olson. How are you? Thank you, Patty. They are pretty adorable. Mr. King. Every time you say that. adorable, that's what they'll do. See, that was me doing it right there. <laughs> All right, now Ryan has exciting news that she's been telling everybody. Um, on Sunday after um, the drive-in church, I got I went to Petco and I got a fish. Yeah, we went to Petco and she bought her very own fish. And it ha and I got like walks. I got a little plant. Oh, she had a great and it, time. In it and I got like a. Castle. Mm -hmm. They can go in and stuff. And, I and it's a guppy. What's his name? Bubbles. Bubbles. We don't so. know if it's a boy or goy, though. <laughs> All right. Um, Betty praying for your mom. Let's see if I can get the full message to pop up. It's a mom message. <laughs> yeah. So we are praying for Betty's mom with blood pressure is high. Handwriting is kind of crazy today. Kind of crazy. There's Mary Kay. Love name bubbles. Hello, Thelma. Glad that Thank you're you. here. Oh, Patty said, yeah, she said she loved the name bubbles. And Thank I you. crocheted a hammock for it whenever I In a it. diaper. <laughs> if it's not a diaper, it looks like a diaper, but it isn't. So she crocheted a hammock for her crusty, crusted, crusted. 
gecko. Yes, that looks like a dog boy. The, it kind of looks like <laughs> it has like a little ladder on it so then he can climb up. And I'm pushing like a ball for him to go in, calm. like to hang. <laughs> He's a very lucky gecko. So pretty much this turned in from uh, evening devotions and prayer to story time <laughs> and what's going on in the Pierce's household <laughs> with like your host, time. Caitlin and <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh my. She's got the pose down and everything. We need a theme song. We need a theme song? Make Have Dayton. Night. Dayton will come down and night. play Make drums. Make it night. Yes. <laughs> so there's Tammy and Troy Jordan. How are you guys? Glad that you're here with us. And, oh, there's Pam Olson. She said the trio looks great. Kimmy Jackson, how are you? Nick at night with his two girls. Oh yes. My. Oh my. Come and join them every night. I don't know how many nights. Come to join them all the nights. All the nights. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that's going to be the competition or the contest now. Is you got to write a uh, intro? What's this? A theme song mm -hmm. for, Nick at for Nick at Night with the girls. So there we go. Hello, Brian's glad that you're here with the dy you guys are the dynamic duo. That sounds like a really good band name, Nick at Night and the Dynamic Duo. That's why we should have a theme song. That's why we should have a theme song. <laughs> Let's write our own. Debbie Huntsman, how are you? So glad that you are here with us. Hope all is well. Again, um, this Sunday we will do our drive-in um, church service as long as weather permits. And so I know kind of looking, at least on my phone, it says it could rain. So I don't know on that, but weather permitting. Um, and so if you'll RSVP for us so that if we do have to cancel, we can call you directly and let you know, hey, we got to call this off. Um, and we'll definitely try to announce that as soon as we can. Send... Uh, we try to do our best to communicate that, but um, but we'd love for you to RSVP for that. So Sunday's 1030. Um, you guys went to your first one oh. last week. What did you think of drive-in service? It was so I cool. Love I love whenever everyone honked. And then he was like, <laughs> for worshiping, two people, they each hold up a hand and they go like, <laughs> or you could just let the window windshield wipers do it. Yeah, or the windshield wipers do it. I loved all the honking. I know. I'm thinking some people, oh, Aubrey hi. Taylor said hi. And, and Nick. Nick. Thank you. Thank you, Aubrey. <laughs> And then I think when we get back into the church, people are going to bring horns because they're going to be I will. Scotland. I will bring a bicycle horn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or like a clamas. <laughs> That'd be cool. You probably um, have one. What did, did you like anything specific about the drive-in service, Ray Ray? I liked, so I liked, we could still hear them talking, but I liked how like we could put on different um, sorts of channel so uh, then we could hear it better. Got it. So you had more of a surround sound in the van. Yeah, we were like we put down the seats in the back, so it was like me and like Ryan a, and Emmy were just had, sitting in the back. We had like a room. Oh, okay. Emmy got one out and pulled. Yeah, Hello. Joshua. Emmy got half of it, and then me and Emmy had to share. Me and Karen had to share half. There's Alicia Taylor. How are you? Hi. That's a good friend of your mother's, and we're good friends too. But <laughs> you know what I was saying. Ellie, like close your eyes when you say that. Yeah. So what time do we got? I do pretty good. Nine o'clock. About the time we need to get started is about the time I'm done with my coffee and it works. He said hi. Hi. You have nine o'clock? Oh, I got that. Yeah, I have nine o'clock. Nine o' one. Sorry. Star praying for you. And you said your left foot. Oh, that foot. And you have gout, so we're praying for you seeing the doctor tomorrow. So we'll definitely be praying for you, Star. Oh, in a week I have to go to the hospital. Oh, yes. Oh. For testing. Good evening, Susie Adams. Real quick, so some of you know um, our two oldest, which uh, Kaylin and then our son, um, have celiac disease, which means they cannot eat any gluten, no gluten. So we are a gluten-free household. Um, and we do have some gluten stuff, you're right. but. By and far, we don't eat any gluten. And so, uh, Kaylin has further testing that got canceled because of all the COVID that was going on. Uh, and so she, uh, Children's Mercy called, um, and it was actually Ashley's prayer. She's like, I, she's like, I hope they call by Friday, or if they don't, I'll call Monday and, and see where we're at with the appointment. So she needs to go in to get her growth hormones tested. Um, and they canceled that appointment, that testing, uh, because of all the COVID, and we've kind of been waiting and waiting. 
<laughs> Ryan's making faces. So Children's Mercy called and Kaylin does have her appointment. So next Thursday she's going down. It's a three hour test. They have to wear masks the whole time that they're there. She's not excited about no. that. Um, but that really was an answer to prayer because we were really needing to get that appointment and that testing done um, to kind of let us know what our next step is for her. So be I'm praying for them. This. I'm watching. I mean, I'm not watching you. I can't watch my own kids. I don't babysit my own kids. I'm Wait just a minute. Dad. Only mommy's going? Only one parent can go. So Wait, I decided. have to decide. <laughs> no, mommy's going. Oh. <laughs> she said who you want. No, mommy's going. Good evening, Frank Stanley. Glad to hear. Hello, pencil. Diana Slosson. Mommy's taking you to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, Mama's taking you to the hospital. I'm hanging out at home. Yay. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Oh, hold on. We got uh, asking for prayer for Florence. Could we watch those cartoons Not... that you do? <laughs> We're hold on. gonna talk We're family talk on. here. <laughs> prayer. Not feeling well. As always, the prayer line uh, is open on 24/7. And then if you have any prayer requests, you can always go to our website, Grace on the Web, go to the digital prayer card, and then also during any of these devotions. And so uh, I'm going to read a couple verses, and then we will get praying. Um, okay, I'm just seeing some more prayer requests here. Yeah, a lot. All right, Kimmy, praying for your mom with her knee. It's good that we have a lot. We can be praying for people. And we pray for them at nighttime whenever we do family. Yeah. Yeah. So even when I'm down here, um, you when I'm down here doing the devotions and they're upstairs, they're always praying for you guys. It's kind of cool. So, all right. Hmm. Gluten free hummus. There we go. I'll have to look into that stuff. Well, um, tonight I'm going to be in Colossians 3. Pause for drink of coffee. <laughs> Pause for the drink of coffee, yes. <laughs> All right, so Colossians 3, uh, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. And let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thank thankfulness in your hearts, to God. And what I love about this is, especially when our culture, our society, our church, just normal life is all upside down, um, what, we, what we really need is peace. And so um, just, uh, we're, we've kind of been thinking through, just we know some people are um, have lost their jobs. Some people are wondering if they're going to lose their jobs. And even for us, like waiting for doctor's appointments and stuff. So just definitely like a lot of high anxiety through all of this. And, and crisis does this. Crisis usually uh, elevates the level of anxiety in our just normal day-to-day -day lives. And, and so I love what Paul is saying here, just saying, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Um, and he says, you know, a way for that is to let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And so as we um, meditate on God's word daily and throughout our day and is having maybe certain memory verses or um, something we've done around our house a few times is write verses on cards and they'll be posted out throughout the house. Um, and so um, just a way just to meditate on God's word throughout the day. And they laugh at me because I talk with my hands a lot. Um, but a way to meditate on God's word so that the peace of God um, would just rule in our hearts. And I just think that's uh, really key. So um, if that's a simple you know, writing a few verses on a card or uh, however it is uh, to let um, the word of Christ dwell in you richly, uh, the peace of Christ is, is always with that. So um, tonight we are praying. We got our list here. Um, and then Ryan, who you said, who are you praying for? Um, I am praying for the um, people who don't have jobs and don't have families and for the doctors to have enough masks. Yep, so doctors to have enough masks, people that have lost uh, their jobs and then don't have any families. So definitely know that's a lot of people that are affected by that. So we'd be praying for you. Kaylin, you are praying for... Everyone who's had babies and then like their families and friends can't come visit them. Yep, we've had some friends that have had 
uh, some babies recently and it was it's kind of a different reality they the parents were outside like literally outside the hospital and had to look through the window to see their you know their new grandbaby and just so definitely want to be praying for those families that's uh, kind of a different different way to introduce you know a, a new baby into the world but um, definitely can be hard and uh, grieving that so we'll be praying for them um, so Ryan do you want to start us and then Kay and then I'll close us okay all right let's pray Dear God, through this day, um, I pray for um, all the people who um, don't have their jobs because of the corona and that don't have families, and I pray that they won't feel lonely, and I pray, pray for the doctors, doctors, and that they won't want to unmask. Um, dear God, I thank you for this day, and I just pray for everyone who's had babies, and um, just that this will be over and people will still be able to visit, like through windows or whatever it needs to be, so then they can still see babies. Lord, we do thank you for the day, and we thank you for the opportunity to be together and, and to laugh and to fellowship, but also to even to see a couple small truths in your word and be able to pray together and lift each other up. And, and I do lift up all the prayer requests that the girls have already mentioned. Uh, we do lift up uh, Jennifer. Uh, she's in the ICU um, with the, the COVID diagnosis. Just be with her, Lord. Um, also, Betty's mom with her blood pressure being high. Uh, Lord, we lift up Star and her left foot, uh, going to the doctor tomorrow. Uh, Father, we lift up Florence and just not feeling well. And, and also Kimmy's mom with her knee and just um, with the surgery being pushed back and just wondering what's going on there, Lord. Just a lot of health issues tonight. And we know you're the great physician, Lord. You uh, created us. You know exactly how our human bodies work and what is needed and and. So we are just asking, Lord, put your hand upon these people. Uh, bring peace, bring comfort, bring health to them, Lord. Let it be a testimony to your goodness. Let doctors um, just be wowed um, by your power. And so, Lord, that's uh, we know you are a God that can do that, and you, you have done that. And so we just ask for your will in and, and each of these uh, requests that we've made to you. And, Father, I do ask for your peace just that um, through all of this, we know that we can have a lot of anxieties and a lot of issues and a lot of things going on that can just really uh, uh, stir up our nerves and our anxiety and just uh, frustrations, Lord. But we just ask that uh, that your peace would just rule in our hearts, that whatever's going on around us, uh, we wouldn't be shaken by that because our firm foundation is upon the rock, which is you, Christ. And I pray that that your word would dwell in us richly, and that's where our peace comes from, is, is meditating on your word and being in communion with you, Lord. So, Father, we love you, we trust you, and we just thank you uh, for your grace and your mercy and your love. And I pray as uh, we start this week that, um, that this would be the week that we would continue to grow closer to you in our walk, Lord. And we ask that you would reveal yourself to us. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Well, thank you guys for coming out. There's Randy Baker. Ah, oh, Thelma Pollard. She's saying she's had wonderful memories of praying with her sons when they were young. Amen. Hope you guys have a great week. Good to see you. I'm seeing a few prayer requests there, so we'll continue to pray. Uh, if you don't know, um, somebody from Grace, one of our staff people, actually go through and they any prayer request that's put down, um, they take note of that, and and we kind of have a running email list uh, throughout the staff of all the prayer requests that come in. So uh, if you put one on, but I kind of missed it, or um, maybe uh, I didn't get to watch one of the devotions uh, in the morning, but the prayer requests always come to us, and so. Please know that the staff really is praying for you and the, and the requests that you put up there. Um, and it is, it's an honor for us to be able to intercede uh, for you uh, to God. So hope you have a great week. Thanks for joining Nick at Night and the Dynamic Duo. Uh, maybe next time we'll have a really cool theme song for you. So take Bye. care.